Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the modern page in SharePoint Online. So I'll show you all these examples in a SharePoint Online site, but you can uh, do the same thing also if you are using SharePoint on-premises version like SharePoint Server 2019 or the subscription edition as well. So you can get this modern pages, right? And why we need this page? Because you want to, uh, you know, display information to your team members uh, in a presentable format. So, and these are modern pages, so you will get the modern look and feel as well. And here I'll show you how we can create the page, how we can uh, uh, customize a page, title area, how we can use various web parts. I'll also show you how we can make a section uh, collapsible and expandable and how we can use uh, the text editor web part uh, like in a text web part which you can use to format things how we can add anchor text so that you can navigate uh, to a particular section of a page in case you have uh, those kind of requirements i'll also show you how we can like a page how we can disable the comments if you want and how we can uh, uh, see the view count so those things i'll show you also, I have a few videos which I have explained how we can use various web parts. So you can have a look at that. I'll put all the link in the video description. And also, if you want to learn SharePoint from the beginning, then you can uh, think of joining the course which I have. And uh, there's a complete course. You can get uh, a lot of courses on the course bundle. I'll put the link in the video description. We have also coming up with updated Power Apps, Power Automate, or Power BI course, so you, you will get access to everything. And also, I'm I'm currently updating the entire course, so you will get those things before the price increases. So now we will go to the system, and then we will check one by one how we can create the page and customize the page. So basically, we want to create a site page so that we can display information in a presentable way uh, to the team members. So let me uh, just open a site so you can see here this is uh, a site SharePoint uh, site team site so create a page you can click here uh, this is by the way from the home page uh, you can click here uh, new and then page so once you uh, you know you can see here uh, three templates are there one is blank visual and basic text uh, so basically these two will have some information in the page we can which you can edit and if you are going for a blank then you will get a complete uh, blank page here right so um, if you'll check our text you can see here just like some text information will be there and uh, if you go for a visual then of course you will see some images some customization on this you can see it here okay and uh, if you want to go for a blank then it will be a completely blank page you can see like this there is been no information so anything you want to customize those things and then you can add that so here one thing remember that you want to create uh, one uh, page for yourself you can check this box which is create as a private map so what will happen is uh, this will not be published uh, and once you are ready with your changes then you can publish it okay so i'll create a basic text page and then uh, click on create page so once you click on create page then uh, the page you can see here uh, created like this uh, this is the header or the title area you can see it here and uh, it has added some of the text in this page nothing much has been added here okay so now um, if you want to see how the page is appearing you can simply click on publish icon here okay you need to provide a title for it suppose i will say hr uh, let's say news and uh, then i'll click on publish so once you click on publish then uh, this page will be published you can see here if you want to put this page into navigation you can click this if you want to share this page you can click here and you can email the link uh, remember this uh, url you can change after this so just have a note on it and if you want to save this page as a template you can click here and uh, save this uh, link as a page so some other options are there once you click on this you will be able to get it and once you are with this you can see here like uh, by default you can see like comment and views also will be there you can also add this page to save for later so that it if you are using a save for later web part you can see this as well and here you can add comments on this thing right so now let's click on this edit icon so once you click on edit you can see here it is coming like this the header section you can see here there basically there are 
uh, four options are there in this if you want only the plane you look at here how things are been changing if you uh, click on plane you can see here only uh, this plane title will be there and then uh, the author you can even uh, uh, remove this so that only author will not also appear here color block only color block will come like this with the image as so you want this option you can add this and then there is overlap where uh, there will be overlap here you can see the page content uh, this image is going background and there is a overlap section here right so you can choose the option whichever you want let's say i'll put this uh, so image and title and uh, if you will click over here set the image focal point so if you want to actually change want to change this image focal point you can do this you can uh, do like this okay and if you want to ch change the image you can click here and then you can uh, browse any image from the gallery from the stock images if you have in anything in the share point you can add that so those things you can do it here let's say for example i want to add this one i'll select this and you can see here and then i can select this focal icon and then if i want to change i can do this so nice header you can uh, uh, do it here another thing i'll tell you if you'll click on edit icon you will see those options you can see here but here you can see the alignment this hr news is coming on the left side if you want to uh, come it center you can see here it is coming in the center i'll put into the left and this is the text above title so if you want to let's say i will say here a recent news something like this and uh, you can see here i will say yes you can see it is coming here recent news like this it will come okay and if you want to show the published date let's say you want user to see the you know the date when the page has been published or modified something like this if once you do this then it will come like this the image uh, the date and background gradient also if you want to show you can show or if you want to disable it you can do like this so you can see here how it is coming okay and also these are the few options you can which you can see in the title area of it lot of time people question how i can remove it actually you cannot remove it completely but you can use plain and then only the title will be there and then all other options you can uh, you can change it okay so now next important thing is the section so whatever you are seeing here are uh, these these are sections so if you want to add a section here because you want to put information you click here and there are different layouts are there you can see one third one third right and then two column three column layout you can add like this so once you add it over here you can also click on this and then you can add web part so uh, remember there are a lot of web parts are available on this uh, on the modern sharepoint site and you can add it for example if you want to display um the any list so you, uh, you click on list and then you can select a list here so if you'll see here now see employees list will come like this here right so so this way you can uh, do it so um if you want to edit the web part details you can go here you can change which view and and then whether you want command bar or not i have a separate videos where i covered how you can work with list web part library web part and lot of popular web parts i will um, i'll put a link in the all the video description you can have a look at it okay now in the section if you'll see here if you'll edit the section you will see a couple of things here so you can change the entire background of this uh, section suppose i'll select this you can see here the entire background is changed here right so and also um, uh, the opacity you can set overlay color you can set and another important thing here i was telling you how we can expand collapse collapse you can make it so suppose you will make it on you can see here now the section name i'll say let's i'll give section uh, section one and uh, after that you can see here i can go and i can add anything suppose i'll add a text here i'll say this is the first section like this and uh, now if i'll publish it you will see here how it will appear now you can see here you can uh, so hide this one you can see here right you can so hide this one so this is one important thing that you can do and uh, any uh, you know when you are working with a text so this is basically a uh, you know text to a part uh, you can see here this one is a text to a part so if you want to 
there are a lot of uh, customization you can do you can see uh, we can bold uh, you know highlight with color underline alignment you can do so suppose you want to uh, make this uh, for example let's say 32 size and then uh, you know you can change the font color you can go here you can insert images you can make hyperlink uh, you know number list all these things you can do on on this one right so if you want like text editor is any formatting that you want to do you can do it here and then uh, suppose i will add one more section here i want to show you the Uh, now let's say i'll add quickly image web part so if you'll see here i just add a image web part i'll take from the stock image only and uh, let's say i will take this and uh, now you see here this image web part click if you'll edit it then uh, there is uh, you can add text over it so you can see how it is um, you know uh, let's say you can put anything like this right so this way you can also add uh, you know text um, over the image so uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, web parts are there which you can uh, you can check it out um, you know i have put some of the links in the video description i'll well another thing which you should know is uh, anchor text so um now you might know that uh, there will be certain links you want uh, let's say whenever user will come they will come to this section right so for example let's say i will add uh, a text to a part on this one so i'll add two columns so i'll quickly add a text to a part here and on this i will say let's say heading one okay and in the heading one i'll make, i'll select this and instead of normal text i'll make this as heading so you can see here once i added it as a heading and then i'll say okay this is the heading and i want uh, you know let's say i'll let me republish it so um, what i want here is let's say uh, you know any time i will someone will come to this page let's say i want they will come to this section right so now once you will publish this page if you'll go if you'll just hover here the heading you can see there is a uh, formal link icon just copy it and you see here like uh, this is what is the uh, you know section so if i want let's say i will go to the home page and i want uh, like let me just edit this page okay so here i want uh, like if i will say click here or go to a char page suppose i want a link here i will uh, make this as a text i'll say go to hr page right or hr news here so once i put hr news i can make this as a hyperlink i'll put the entire link here and then i'll save it right so i'll republish this page so now what will happen is uh, so whenever i'll click on this link so you can see here i'll click on this link so i'll go to the page you can see here i came to the heading one instead of any on, on the top section right so this way you can use anchor text on these pages right and uh, uh, most importantly you uh, note it down that uh, there are various web parts which will make a, make this pages attractive and if you want to you can see here these are the comment like and this sections are there i'll just quickly edit and show you that suppose i'll let me just go here and if you do not want the comments comment section to appear you can just disable it and then uh, comment section will not appear when you will publish this page right so and uh, if you want a like you can see the likes these things you can do it here right so this is how you can work with pages and uh, i hope now you can work with pages modern pages to display information to the user and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will get a lot of videos related to sharepoint power platform spfx all these uh, technology videos you will get it and you can learn sharepoint from the beginning okay so thank you and have a nice day